So what are standard operating procedures? Processes play a key role in running any business. A process is any series of actions or steps to achieve a particular result. Standard operating procedures, or SOPs for short, are step-by-step -step instructions that help businesses carry out routine processes. Defining SOPs for your processes helps improve efficiency, consistency, and the ability to delegate to and collaborate with employees and contractors. SOPs can take many forms, but typically they should include context for the process, steps to take, details on how to conduct the steps, who is responsible for what, and any relevant resources and other information. Let's talk about the four benefits of describing processes as standard operating procedures. First, improved consistency. Defining an SOP for a process helps ensure that it is run consistently. When you and your team have a clear description of the steps to take, they will always know what to do. This consistency will lead to better quality in running your business operations and serving your clients. Second, there's better efficiency. Having clear SOPs defined for processes makes work more efficient. Your team can make decisions faster and take prompt action. Furthermore, the more standardized your processes are, the more you can automate them. Three, easier delegation. Delegating some of your tasks to team members or contractors allows you to spend more time in your own zone of genius. SOPs are a prerequisite for delegating work efficiently and they are a key tool in onboarding and training your employees. Four, maintaining knowledge. Even though you or your team would currently be well worst, sorry, well versed in all aspects of running your business, that does not mean that your team would stay the same forever. As people come and go, you risk essential knowledge and practices getting lost. Having all critical processes documented as SOPs ensures this valuable information stays safe. Now let's talk about how to define standard operating procedures in four easy steps. First, list processes. A good starting point is to list any critical processes involved in running your business. Some examples of processes include onboarding new clients, drafting business proposals, processing testimonials, or publishing a blog post. Second, prioritize SOPs to be created. It's a good business practice to define SOPs in some format for every process, but as it can be a lot of work, create SOPs in priority order based on what is most needed or beneficial. Third, identify audience and objectives. Consider who will read the SOP and what prior knowledge they have on the topic. Also think about what you're aiming to achieve with the SOP. Fourth, write the SOP. SOPs can take many forms such as diagrams, text, or videos. Usually the person normally conducting the process is best capable of documenting the SOP. Well, what should an SOP document contain? A good SOP document would cover at least the following topics. First, name of the process. Second, purpose. What is the goal of the SOP in one or two sentences? Third, context. When, in what situations does this process take place? Four, procedure. Break down the process into steps and include detailed instructions for each step. You can document these instructions in many formats, such as text, a flowchart, or a video. Five, roles and responsibilities. Who are the people involved in the process and what are they responsible for doing? Six, resources. Include links to relevant resources needed to complete the process. For example, tools, documents, and templates. Seven, status. When was the SOP last updated? Is it up to date, requiring some revisions or archived? Now let's talk about how to use Notion for organizing standard operating procedures. 
Notion is an excellent tool for creating an SOP template for documenting your processes. Notion can also be used to build an SOP library where you can keep all your SOP documents organized. Below are some example pictures from an SOP template and library I recently built for one of my clients. Let's take a quick look at an example of how SOPs or process descriptions can be managed in Notion. I have here a pre-built SOP library. Let's first um, create one new SOP to check out the template. So we could create an unlimited amount of different kinds of templates for these, but I have one right here. And clicking it gives me this new uh, document window here where I can write a name for the process. Let's call it client birthdays. So this would be essentially describing what we do whenever a client has a birthday coming. Here we would set a status when it was last updated. Um, a responsible person who is supposed to be keeping it up to date or conducting the process. And finally, we could have a category where we choose what type of process it is. And then this is just one example of a template to use for describing SOPs. It could obviously look very different for your business, but here we have a place for goal, context, steps, responsible people for the individual steps and links to any resources. Let's close that for now. And now I will show you um, the dashboard for viewing all the SOPs we have in the library. So this one is structured so that on the left, we have all the SOPs categorized by um, the type they are and it also shows some key information here about the status and the responsible person then on the right hand side we have a section which uh, shows all the processes that are missing or needing an update and below it we have a section for the sops that have been assigned to the user currently logged in to notion and this is, as always with Notion, this could be very flexibly organized in various different ways. Behind all of this, we have a database running, which stores all the SOB descriptions here, but we don't need to really touch that because we can view and um, edit everything via this UI right here. 